G'day guys, welcome to Primal Waters. Now we're going to take a look at another new story which there's actually quite a few of these popping up in the last couple of days and it's about the disappearance of great white sharks in South Africa. So over the last few months I, I think a lot of uh, reports are indicating that the great white shark is, is disappearing in these areas. So this is one art article I'll I'll, I'll read out to you, and uh, like with other uh, news uh, stories, I'll link that in the description bar down below so you can come and have a read for yourself. So grey white sharks have suddenly disappeared from one of their favourite hangouts, uh, which is um, very uh, concerning, I guess. Uh, sightings of white sharks have crashed this year in False Bay near Cape Town, South Africa. One of the best known hotspots of the predators in the world and scientists aren't sure why. Orcas, which love to dine on sharks' liver, may have scared them off. Researchers say, but human activities could also play a role. Shark Spotters, a local charity that monitors the city's beaches daily and warns swimmers if sharks are near, has not uh, recorded a single confirmed white shark sighting this year, not even during the summer months from January to April when the fish usually come close to shore. The boats that take tourists to watch sharks hunt seals at Seal Island uh, in the middle of False Bay haven't, have not recorded sightings either. Sharks tagged along the South African coast have not pinged any of the uh, receivers located in the bay since January 2017 and white shark bite marks have been missing from whale carcasses floating in the bay this year the absence is unprecedented in shark spotters 16 year history says the charity's research manager Tam tamlin usually there are more than 200 sightings each year the number has never been zero of course i'm worried white sharks play an incredible important role in false bay she says shark tourism helps raise money for conservation and the sudden absence of the apex predator could have a knock-on effect on the whole ecosystem and other shark scientists are working with fisheries and marine mammal experts to understand what's going on one possibility is that sharks are on the run from an even bigger predator uh, data shows that white shark sightings have dropped uh, significantly in false bay since 2015 when two orcas nicknamed starboard and port because their dorsal fins curl opposite ways started to predate on the local colony of seven gill sharks several white sharks have been found dead up the south african coast with their livers missing another telltale sign orcas are known to remove the shark's livers uh, which are fatty and nutritious which with surgical precision leaving the rest of the carcass behind scientists in australia and california have also observed how shark clinging orcas can cause white sharks to migrate out of the area but it could be one other things like changing prey distribution uh, overfishing and uh, pollution are likely to play a role says sarah a marine biologist at the nearby stellbush university of south africa i probably butched that name my worry is the focus on the orcas is distracting attention from problems that humans could solve she says white sharks may not have gone far uh, marine uh, di dynamics a cage diving operator that launches from gansby south africa a town less 100 kilometers east of false bays as the sharks uh, swims says it has, uh, says it has had some white shark sightings this year in false bay other shark species are already moving in to fill the niche left by the great white sharks at sea island uh, scientists have seen seven gill sharks hunting seals on the surface something that has never seen uh, never saw when great whites were in, in the vicinity shark spotters is scaling back its activities on the beaches but we'll keep a watchful eye on the most popular ones so the great white shark could return at any time and others other large sharks like bronze whaler sharks frequent the waters as well so uh, quite interesting story we do know uh, we've heard reports before about if a orca um, attacks a great white in a particular area those sharks in those areas will disappear for quite a while. I can remember 
here in South Australia down Neptune Island, a pod of killer whales um, attacked a great white shark uh, in front of some um, uh, boat goers out there. And the, uh, the sharks disappeared for quite a while, like nearly four or five months before they actually returned. So uh, quite interesting uh, indeed. So where do these sharks actually go once they've uh, moved from the area? Um, like False Bay, we all know that's a hot spot for great whites and pretty unusual to know that uh, these sharks are not there at the moment. So uh, hopefully they can figure this out and hopefully the sharks will return. Uh, later on but it's still quite interesting uh, to know what um, orcas can do to a, a great white shark population uh, in in uh, these types of areas and that so all right guys uh, that's it for this video thank you for tuning in uh, remember to drop a comment down below hit that like button share this video now if you want to read this story it will be linked in the description bar down below uh, thank you for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video